friends, welcome back to the S3 Cloud Hub. In the previous session we show, what is Docker Engine and Container. Now, in this session, we will discuss Docker Image. So without any further ado, let's get start the session. So in the previous session, we show, what is Docker Container and how it works. But we have an important question that remains. How is the Docker Containers create? Docker containers are created by objects in Docker, called images. An image as defined by Docker, is a read-only template with instructions for creating a Docker container. These instructions define everything that the container needs. What the container will need to run, its specific software, including any dependency code, libraries, environment variables, or configuration files for research, limitation, networking, etc. These instructions are collected within an executable package, which is the image itself. So when you run that executable package, you create the Docker container. Therefore, the container is the instance, or the result of executing those instructions outlined in the image. For example, these images can tell Docker to create a container that runs Ubuntu, one of the most popular Linux operating system distributions. Or we can have an image that tells Docker to run Nginx, a notable web server. Later on, we'll learn how to create images in this customized way with a special kind of file called the Docker file. In the Docker file, we outline the instructions for how the image will create the container. In the meantime, let's go over that image to container relationship once again, because it's an important concept to grasp within the Docker. The Docker image is the assembled set of instructions, which outline how the container should be created. It's assembled into one overall image, which is why we can create an entire Ubuntu container by using its assembled image. Now, the container is a result of running that image. Doctor looks at the assembled image and executes those instructions one by one to create a container. So now the container is created by using all of those completed instructions and executing them all. In an analogy often used to illustrate this image to container relationship, is a class object relationship of object oriented programming. The Docker image is what the class that defines how to create the objects of the container. From the class, you can create many instances of the object. Likewise, from the image, you can create many instances of the container. Now let's learn where to find the already most widely used images created by Docker users around the world. In order to find these images, we look to Docker Hub. Docker Hub collects images from Docker users, from independent developers to entire engineering organizations, like MySQL and Ubuntu, which allow for anyone who knows how to use Docker to use them within their containers. Hosted as repositories, these images on Docker Hub allow you to look at different versions of an image that have been published over time. All right, so let's check out an example of an image on Docker Hub. So here we have a Ubuntu repository on Docker Hub. Here we are, as you can see, this is hub.docker.com. And for example, if we look at the official repository for Ubuntu, we can see that there is a nice short description telling us that this is a Debian-based Linux operating system distribution. Then scrolling down, we can find different versions of the image software, few number of collections like 18.04 or a name like Bionic. And these different tags are very helpful when you want to use a version of the software with various setups. So that we your code can take advantage of any feature that has been released in the product before, but perhaps may not be available at the moment or supported any longer. Now, whether or not your feature is supported in the latest version, does it affect your code? Because you can pull the image of a version that supported your feature set in the past? So, after we've explored this image over here, we've covered a quick introduction into Docker images. I hope, you all guys are now clear with it. So guys, that's it for this video, I hope you liked it. I will see you in the next lecture. If you have any question or any doubt, feel free to ask in the comment section below, I will answer you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye and have a nice day.